All right, all right, all right. Let's do some rumba, guys. A five, a five, a five, six, seven, eight. I'm losing my skill a little bit from that imitation since I'm out of practice a little bit. Okay, so like I was say, uh, saying before, I'm gonna show you a little rumba routine that you can practice on your own at home. It doesn't require a lot of space. Uh, and then probably the following time, I will we will also work a little bit more technique on the same routine. So you're gonna have some time to practice the steps. And then afterwards, like in a week or so, whenever I have a, my next lesson, I'm gonna go a little bit probably more in detail. So if you're watching this later, it's fine because you have plenty of time. So it would be good. It's gonna be like a homework to prepare the steps in this routine for the following time. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna be showing everything from a female's perspective, even though the steps are basically the same. But since majority of our students and people that are watching are females, it just makes more sense. But they are practically the same steps for a gentleman as well. So I have to kind of improve my female steps also. Now, so we're gonna start very simple from the box step. So let's just do it a couple times for the warm up. Right foot backwards and slow, quick, quick. Keep your arms close to your body, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. So everyone knows the step. And so here is the key point. Since some of our students are dancing American style rumba, some of the students are dancing international style rumba and uh, some of the students are dancing both. But I still want to point out what's very important since we're doing the American rumba today is every single step that I make, I'm going to start making the step, that step from having my knee soft. Yeah. So like in international rumba, I would step with my knee being straight in American rumba. What I'm going to do, I'm going backwards, I'm stepping with my soft knee. I'm going forward, my knee is soft, quick, so I'm kind of really relaxed here, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick. Okay, so let me get a little bit more into the steps. I'm going to show you first of all from this perspective, and afterwards I'm going to turn around. Okay, so from the beginning, we're going to start with the box step, right foot backwards, here we go, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Then I'm gonna go to the side basic, quick, quick, slow. My right foot is gonna go backwards into open break, quick, quick, slow. And then I'm gonna do the underarm turn, quick, quick, slow. Okay, a lot of information for the beginning. I'm gonna do this couple more times and then I'm gonna uh, uh, continue. So one more time, simple box step, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, to the side, which is my left side, right foot goes backwards now, quick, quick, to the side, I'm going to do the fast underarm turn and rumba, quick, quick, slow, yes, okay, I'm going to do the same exact steps, but from the other, I'm going to turn around, okay, now, right foot goes backwards, and slow, Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, to the side, quick, quick, slow, right foot backwards, quick, quick, slow, turn all the way around, and then to the side. So I finish my steps on the left foot. I'm gonna do that one more time. From the beginning, or like Mr. Kyle would say, let's do it from the top. So, right foot backwards, and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, underarm to the side, here, okay? I'm gonna do this one last time, and then I'm gonna continue because that's not the end of it. So, right foot backwards, box step, slow, quick, quick, slow, Quick, quick, slow, to the side, quick, quick, slow, 
Right foot goes backwards. Quick, quick. Slow. Under arm turn. Quick, quick. And slow. So again, I finish my movement on the left side. Okay, so now, this is the step that I really wanted to show you and I think it's a really good step to work with. Some of you, I did this step. Uh, some of you, it might be new, uh, but it's a really great step to work on multiple things, whether it's your footwork or your hip movement or your timing, even your posture also. Yeah. So let me show you the step that we're gonna concentrate on the most which is gonna be after the, what we just did. So it's called the crossover with side rocks. Let me just show you from this way. So like we finished our steps on the left foot, I'm gonna start with my right foot going this direction here. I'm gonna go quick, quick, slow. I'm gonna turn then, quick, quick, slow. And again from the beginning, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Okay, I'm gonna show you this step a couple more times. Camera is turning, turning. Good, okay. Just making sure that keeping her on her toes. So, I'm gonna start by standing on my left foot and I'm gonna go this direction. So I'm on my left foot and I'm gonna go with my right foot towards the mirror. It's good that you all guys have mirror on the same wall. Okay, so I'm on my left foot and I'm gonna go with my right foot here. And quick, quick, slow, 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 and quick, quick, slow. There you go. As easy as, as easy as that. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to do it slower. So since we have our audience that some people are in the beginning of their journey in dancing, some people are more advanced. Uh, so while you're doing this, I would say the key thing and the most important thing is while you're doing this position is just to be shifting your body weight back and forth, since this is kind of like a rock step. Now, for the people that are more advanced, like you saw, I'm moving my hips also a little bit. But again, this is not a priority if you're doing this step for the first time. So let me do this again very slowly. I'm gonna start standing on my left foot. I'm standing on my left foot and I'm gonna go step on my right foot here. So I go basically rock and rock. Rock and rock. Rock and rock and so on. Rock and rock. So it's basically two steps. I'm rocking forward and backward, and then I'm rocking side to side. One more time. I'm on my left foot, and quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick, slow. All right, so right now I would like to show you the full routine, small routine. From the very beginning, I'm gonna show you first of all facing you, and then I'm gonna turn around afterwards. All right. So from the, let's do it all together from the very beginning. I'm gonna start with my right foot backwards. Gonna start with the boxer. Here we go. A five, five, Kaya. Still not here. Right foot backwards and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow to the side, quick, quick, slow. Right foot goes backwards. Quick, quick, slow, underarm turn, quick, quick, slow. And from this point, we're gonna do the crossover with the side rocks. So I'm gonna turn this direction now. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And then on the last one, I'm gonna do quick, quick, and my left foot is gonna go forward slow, that's how I'm going to start from the beginning, going into the box step. Quick, quick, slow, beginning, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Okay, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to show you the entire routine now again. Right foot backwards, and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Right foot backwards, 
quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And I go this direction now. I go rock and rock, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick. And I'm not gonna go slow. At the very end, I'm gonna go with my left foot forward into the box step. Slow, quick, quick, slow, so I'm dancing from the beginning. Let me try to do two routines in a row so you can see how I'm actually connecting those. So I'm gonna start from here. All right? So, from the very beginning, right and backwards. And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow to the side. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And then quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. It was the first one. Now we're gonna do the second one. Quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, beginning. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, to the side. Open break. Underarm turn, and then go in this direction. Quick. Quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, back and forth, quick, quick, forward, to the side, backwards. I'm really making Camilla work very hard today because I'm moving a lot. Uh, so it still doesn't need that much space. It needs maybe it probably requires a little bit more than in chacha, but as you can see, I can fit here really well. You don't need to have big steps. The steps are relatively small. The main thing that I would like you to do till I, I see you, you see me next time, is keep your knees relaxed because that's going to help you essentially to move your hips better and with less effort. Yes. So that's pretty much like the most important thing with learning these steps and then next time we're going to talk a little bit when you feel more comfortable so try to maybe practice this routine a couple of times so you can feel more comfortable i think it's going to be very beneficial uh, down the road and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the uh, uh, te technique next time but still i want to do that one more time i'm going to do it from this direction facing you and i'm going to do it a little bit faster okay so let's try it right foot goes backwards box step Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Hello everyone, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, forward. From the beginning, I'm starting from the box step. Quick, slow, quick, quick. There you go, just like that. Yes. So one last time, I just want to do the box step a couple times while you're uh, watching me from this angle. So you can see every single step that I'm making, I have my knees relaxed and they're a little bit bent. You don't have to force them to have them bent. I would say try to keep them relaxed, like you would be walking. You're not going to walk like this on the street. Well, sometimes we do that. Right? Usually we don't, so just keep your knees kind of relaxed and soft. So I'm gonna do the uh, box step just a couple times. I'm gonna start with my right foot backwards and slowly, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and as you can see, my knee is bent. Quick, slow, quick, quick, and then slow. There you go. So, practice this little routine, and I hope you have it down before I see you next time. And so then we're gonna talk a little bit more about technique and some details, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you guys for coming today, and thank you for watching.